a Fanboys Forever production. Hello, fanboys and fangirls, and welcome to the fourth episode, episode four of Candy Corner. That's right. Can you believe it's been four episodes in just a year and a half? Episode four, A New Hope. A New Hope. A for Candy treats. Corner. Yeah. yeah. For something that doesn't suck. Yes. Well, uh, hopefully you watched our uh, Transformers special uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, keeping up with the big summer movie theme, today we have our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles candy special. That's right. Uh, we've got two del- hopefully delicious Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles candies. Uh, yeah. Right here I've got the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lollipop rings. You get yeah. three rings. Fake ring pops. And I have the Gummy Turtle Power Candy Pizzas. I suspect mm. these will be very similar to the Gummy Pizza from the E-Fruity Lunch Bag that we That's reviewed right. some time ago. That's so, right. Um, just a hunch. I mean, they may be completely different, but if they're if they look even if they look different, I bet they taste pretty similar. So you know, what I, I just hope that they're not. Old. I always really hate it when a TV show or a movie put in blatant product placement. Yeah, I know. Can you believe? You know, can you believe that someone would hold up something? Man, you know, to drink I'm it. thirsty. Are you thirsty as well? I know. I could use a quench thirsty. <laughs> he could use a quench, a quench thirsty thirsting. Yeah. And if, whenever I'm looking for a quench thirsty thirsting, yeah. it seems like I reach for a crush orange. Yes. That, huh, what's this? Ninja, Ninja Turtles? This was this. not planned. Huh. This was not planned. How amazing. Can you believe that? This is similar. Cheers. Yes. Mmm, delicious orange soda. Somehow, it tastes totally different than a usual orange crush would. It, it totally tastes does. like a Ninja Turtle. It tastes like Michelangelo. He does live in a sewer, so That's just true. imagine yeah. that. Tastes like sewer water and mm. used toilet paper. I think I got a bit of the toilet paper in my teeth. Mm. This is good. Uh, comes with a little Hard bio on the that. back. Uh, pretty interesting. Michelangelo has his own little bio. It has mm-hmm. a shelf. No picture of Michelangelo. No, there is a little Michelangelo mask at the top. Mm-hmm. So anyway, this is not... The can is only special about this. This is not a special Michelangelo yeah. flavor. Although apparently there is a special Leonardo flavor right. that I haven't been able to find, but I'm looking. So we may review the rest of those. I, what I really love about these cans is... And this is another one of those deep references that we make, and hopefully somebody remembers and comments or likes the video. Um, these remind me a lot of the old Shasta uh, soda Mario cans from the mm-hmm. early 90s. Did you ever have any of those? No, no, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I used to get them at Big Lots. So I don't know. I, don't, I guess they probably weren't distributed very widely. But anyway, uh, that's some tasty soda, but we knew it would be because Orange Crush is always good. Um, before we get into the real candy, we have one last vestige of vintage Ninja Turtles candy that we could find. And here is, this had to be terrible candy because it's such a terrible movie. Here's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 fruit candy canister. It looks like a tobacco can uh, that all you folks here in Kentucky will uh, probably identify with. Um, this, is, this is the same kind of can as old school uh, bubble tape where you had to pop it open and physically tear it before you, know, you had a, uh, a cool way to clamp it in half or whatever. But this wasn't gum, this was candy. And actually we found this when we were going through some of Jared's old stuff recently. And uh, I never had any of these. I have no idea what it tasted like, but I thought it was so funny. And because we had a, a candy-specific item, we had to show it off. So there uh, Something that may be interesting to a lot of you folks. Anybody uh, here in Kentucky, they used to go to the London Blockbuster when it was still open. The one that was beside of Captain D's. Uh, they oh, had in front new, of Kmart? Yeah, in front yeah. of Kmart. It's a mattress. It was a mattress store, and I don't think it's anything. They uh, sold these there till like the year two thousand. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I'm talking about nine. At that point, it was like nine year old, you know, candy that was still on the rack that was in their theater concession like area. Mm-hmm. They were selling these brand new. I still remember that. So, if any of you people so, worked at Blockbuster or remember this or went there, these were there being sold, like. 2000. Expired candy. 2001. Rotten candy was being sold so, to children. I hope you're happy with yourself. Go figure. Uh, although, uh, right now, since it's empty, it can be doubled as a Casey Jones hockey puck role right. playing toy. So Amazing. There you go. Uh, let's get into the meat. Well, I don't know why I say the meat. Candy it's meat. not meat, it's the candy of the video here. Which one do you want to start off with? Uh, let's go for the lollipop rings because I... I feel like the pizza will be better. So yeah, I, I feel like those. that's going to be better. Let's go ahead and uh, open these up before we do. As it says in the package, 
We've got three rings. They're individually wrapped. The flavors are green apple, blue raspberry, and cherry. They missed an opportunity to you brand these. You think that one of them the would colors. be orange or grape? I know. Uh, being such common flavors, but no. Uh, serving size. You get one pop of serving size. There's three in the bag. Each one has 50, cal uh, 50 calories in it. So. Uh, and there's not really anything too interesting in this. It's all just corn syrup and artificial flavors and colors. So here we go. Okay, sounds like candy to me. I think these are going to be individually wrapped. So. There we go. Oh, mighty strength. Yes, in fact. That one was stuck to the inside of the bag. Yeah. That's disconcerting. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we got green apple. And here we got cherry. And blue raspberry. Which one do you want to start off with? I'm going to start off with cherry. I feel like blue raspberry is probably a good bet, and I can definitely identify it as Leonardo. So That's right. So. I can identify this as Raphael, my favorite Ninja Turtle. Mm -hmm. I, I took Leonardo begrudgingly. So, uh, <laughs> okay. it's a little plastic. It's a, it's exactly like a ring pop, like mm -hmm. the name brand ring pop. And there is a uh, Ninja Turtles head and candy on top of I'm gonna it. I'm going to try to fit this on my pinky. Yeah. It won't quite go. It, it'll stretch a little bit, so I'm going <laughs> to... It sort of goes on the end of my index finger. Now, yeah. if you can see here, there is a faint, kind of soft sculpt of a Ninja Turtle's yeah. head. On the back, this is really amusing. Instead <laughs> of just putting the face, they put the back of the head. So, I, some kid, like, wanting to see, you know, are they... Really? Mine's the face on both I mean, sides. so, go figure. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Yeah, I think one, it is, one side of yours is just fuzzier than the other. Yep, yeah, one side is so... Well, I would have hardly even too, tell. Yeah. This, is, this is just another face. But it's so fuzzy, it just looks like yeah. the back of the head. This looks like a really cheap candy. Like, it looks like the well, worst Well, let's see if of... it tastes like cheap candy. There's no dignified way to eat these. Mm-mm. No. Or taste them. Um, okay, first impressions. It's like, it's like I'm, I'm sort of like licking a rock. Yeah. That's the, sort of, the, just kind of sweet. The texture, it's not, it's not very sweet. Mm -mm. And these types of flavors, or maybe the sour apple will be better. I expect this to be sort of sour and tangy. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's a very bland sweetness. I'll tell you what they, exactly what they taste like, or this one does anyway. I'm sure the cherry is very similar. You know the novelty fruit flavored candy canes at Christmas? Ah, they taste exactly like that. Exactly with a very it similar kind of texture. It's got that kind of rough texture mm -hmm. to it. Um, I mean, I like it. Yeah. I, Especially if you're looking for like, some, fine. some candy that's not going to like, you know, make you sort of, uh, you know, mm -hmm. sick when it's a little too sweet. It's good for that, but clearly this is designed with the, oh, let's not get the kids hyper initiative in mind. Yeah, and it's, I mean, the, the, the Turtles brand is the only thing going for this product. Mm. I'm trying to break off a piece to, to really like crunch it up, but... It's not working. It's like they're thick with sugar, mm. but you can't taste it. Oh, as strange as that is. There you go. I cracked Leonardo's skull open and sucked out his brains. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He let, he let it happen. Um, yeah, exactly like candy can. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, not uh, terribly unpleasant at all, uh, but just nothing. There's and no, there's and no, offensive. There's nothing special about it. And offensive. Know. Matter of fact... I'm probably about positive that these two don't even really taste that, that dissimilar no. from each other. I bet. Uh, probably the same exact yeah, thing. Yeah, about the same. I guess I'll do the disservice to myself of tasting the green apple sucker. <laughs> this turtle has a, has a giant hole at oh the bottom of his uh, chin there. So that's kind of funny. Uh, I'll dig right in. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be sour apple, but it's, oh, it's, it's just green apple. Okay, I thought it was sour. Um, as green apple is apt to be. Uh, yeah, that tastes practically identical to the blue raspberry. Just a, a vaguely fruit flavored. Uh, may I just... specifically apple, honestly. May I just say that I find it really amusing, once again, that there's three of these, yet there's four Ninja Turtles, and you would think they would have made an effort. To have, you know, one of each of the bandana colors in this bag. It's just so weird that they would do a green one and and not, you know, put the extra effort in to do yeah. the orange and the purple. Um, the green apple is probably a little worse than the blue raspberry. Again, it's not that it's terrible. And the kid's got to eat them no matter what. But, you know, this is not for the discerning candy eater. Um, pretty good. Uh, so I especially like that they're individually wrapped. Brandon That's is good. the discerning candy eater, by I, the way. I totally am. Uh, um, not bad at all for one American dollar. That's right, one American you dollar. You can't, if you spend a dollar on something, you have no Matter of fact, I, I would like to perform a test that I want to start doing in our candy videos. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kiki, come here, honey. 
Alright, that's my cat Kiki. Say hi, Kiki. Hi. Alright, Kiki. Let's see if a cat would take a look at this. I have a feeling, no. She probably won't even try it. Here you go, Kiki. What do you think? Hmm? Is it any good? Is it any good? Hmm? Is it any good? <laughs> Mm -mm. No, not even interested. No way. What's this disgusting thing? She's like, no thanks. Give me a can of sun kiss. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Look at that. Now she's just, she turned away in shame. Right Look at all. this. Holding it right here. She doesn't even care. Stick that to her fur and see how long it takes your wife to notice. I'm not a bad person like you. Okay? Okay. Well, suckers are all right. We're going to wash them down with some more delicious and refreshing <laughs> orange crush soda. Look at that. Anyway, all right. That's good. That's so we say these. Like, tastes like food. We save these for last, hoping that they're going to be better. I don't know if they're going to be good, but I think they're probably going to be better. Uh, let me see. Uh, pretty, actually, a really nice and pleasant graphic on this box. It's made to look like a takeout pizza box, and it's got all four turtles. I really like how there. this is designed. I really do. Me this too. has a pleasant box, and I think that this is going to sell really well. I think so. And again, this is just a, this is an impulse dollar item. I got yeah. I got both these at the Family Dollar Store. Um, uh, the back has some cool brick texture with another picture of the pizza. Ingredients, glucose syrup, sugar, gelatin, beef in parentheses. I guess that's gelatin made out of beef bone. Uh, pectin, citric acid, multi blah, 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 blah. Uh, As you yellow remember, six, remember. red 40, titanium dioxide. We are eating titanium when we eat these gummies. Can you believe that? Um, you got to keep these labels away from bread. <laughs> and palm oil. If at all possible. Best before March 2016. These are really, uh, these are packed with preservatives. Uh, serving size, four pieces. This should be about eight pieces in the box then. 130 calories. Three grams of protein. I guess that's from the beef bone. Anyway, um, let's break. Give this me them beef gummies. And, uh, ooh, uh, yeah. These are individually wrapped too. That's wow. awesome. There you go. There is just eight little pizza packets in here. And in fact, they are practically identical to the e fruity. That's Lunch right. Bag. I won't be snack. surprised a bit if these are practically the exact same thing. I, I would almost guarantee it. Uh, and each each wrapper is uh, individually marked with the Ninja Turtles. And again, a very pleasant looking wrapper. You know, this is an impressive item for a dollar, honestly. Especially if you had a bunch of kids. Uh, Tears easily. Yep. That's important. Uh, there's a little plastic uh, nice little tray bag here. and then a plastic tray. Separates out. Now, Pretty there's good. little indentions in the pizza mm -hmm. where I think you can rip these apart. Yeah. Um, just sort of. Pretty easily, yeah. Yeah, they, they sort of come apart. I can kind of have my pizza middle, yeah. right here, so that's pretty good. There you go. Well, and it looks, again, like sort of orange, puffy flavor with uh, with a cherry kind of topping. Uh, it's, a, it's an opaque orange with a okay. translucent cherry on top. I was pretty successfully able to rip this into four individual pieces. Just like real pizza. So. Uh, so let's see if this can stack up to eat fruity vomit pizza. Let's take a bite. I think that's really pleasant. That's really good, actually. And that's I'll tell good. you, one of the things about these that I think helps is that these uh, are brand new. These came yeah. out of like a new Ninja Turtles display at the Family Dollar. They're very fresh. The E fruity lunch bag that I got, I think had probably been on the shelf for about a year mm -hmm. when I bought it. So that pizza was a little out of date, but uh, mm -hmm. these are pretty new, and it's well, it's really good gummy candy. Actually, they're soft, but not just that. They've got a really strong like cherry flavor to them, mm -hmm. which is really good. So the topping part, the gelatin on the top, really has that strong, you know berry flavor but the bottom is more kind of tart yeah i'm gonna have another one me too the very first time that, that's the we've done this that's mm -hmm. the first and maybe last time we'll ever say that in one of these videos these are great i'm playing with it <laughs> yep uh -huh. um i i dare say this has got to be the best thing we've ever had on an episode of Candy Corner. Mm, delicious. And um, to top it all off, this delicious crush orange soda. I hate it when people in a show or something, 
They put something in plain view to make sure you see Yeah, can you believe people do that? Why would you do that? And people like hold stuff when yeah. it's a product placement I mean, why, in the weirdest way. Why would you do this? Not like how we're doing it naturally. No, of course not. This is this is how I always drink a soda. Like when they drink it to make sure that you see it. Sometimes I'll even drink it to the I side. Mean, I just drink soda like this. Every time. I hope that there's a commercial for the new movie where the turtles are in, you know, they're they're off in the uh, in their big truck vehicle and they're on a mission and they're like uh, calling Splinter on the phone and they're like Splinter, we're heading back, you know, get the get the pizza party ready and Splinter goes to the kitchen and he gets the pizza out of the oven and stuff and he opens up the fridge and he's gonna get some beverages out for them and and oh no, the fridge is empty, so he gets on the phone and he says hello. New York Corner Market, we seem to be down to our last orange crush. And then it cuts to like a can of orange crush with a bandana wrap, not like a, like a cloth bandana wrapped around it that's like flapping in the wind. And it's a good joke and everybody laughs. I seem to remember something like this on the Batman 1 VHS tape right before the movie. Please, it would really be at your behest right now not to say anything about this or respond to this. But I am saying there's something similar and that you ought to be aware of it. No, I don't, I don't but think now, so. I just, like I said, just let it go. That's... And just... Something about Diet Coke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? Okay? Well, let... Uh-uh. No. Mm. Leave it be. I gotta go buy some groceries. Okay.